everybody. I am here with Rob Burt. He is the COO of Gravity Co-Living over in London. So we're excited to have you on. Thank you so much, Rob. Um, we oh, will thank you for having me. No, you're so very welcome. And I love it. I've had so many interviews with people with amazing accents. Or maybe I have the <laughs> accent. You know, it depends on who you're talking to. <laughs> So uh, it will definitely be a lively conversation. Um, I've actually been following Rob a little bit. We're all in the same message board over in Facebook for Co-Living Founders. And he asked, it was back in February, um, and so we'll start with this. Um, he yeah. asked a great question about um, what technology is everybody using, like what management technology is everybody using to manage their co-living homes, whether that be for bookings, community, et cetera. Were you able to, are you guys able to kind of narrow that down yet? Um, if I'm being totally honest, there's, there's no perfect system out there at the moment which, which covers co-living. Uh, basically because co-living is a mixture of hospitality, residential events and so forth, there's not one system that really brings all that together. So it's, it's quite an interesting topic where there's a lots, of, lots of potential for, for such a system to be created. Um, at the moment, you can use bits of, of, of different software, but to actually merge it all into, into one, one space would be, would be fantastic. Oh, most definitely. And so I know that you're the COO and then there's actually two founders of Gravity. Can you tell us about yeah. Gravity, how you got started, when you guys are launching, all that fun stuff? Yeah. So basically, uh, Gravity got started because the two founders and, and myself, we, uh, we've we all seen the benefits and the, the drawbacks of, of relocating for, for work. And we, we understand that you know, it can really improve your, your personal and, and professional lives if you're in the correct environment. However, so many times finding the correct environment is, is so difficult. So we basically found, found that co-living is the answer to, to, to relocating and, and the new kind of global uh, working uh, environment, so to speak. Uh, if you look at, at the, the working environment with co, co, uh, co-working, there's, there's so many of these popping up now for the digital nomads of, of the world. But the residential market has been very, very slow to to make progress into creating the the environments and the properties that that the the new young professional and and the the new generations are really looking for. So gravity, we want to be the, the kind of much needed catalyst that that helps change the way that young professionals live, work, and and engage within major cities and hubs around the world. Love that. Uh, yeah, um, and um, yeah, me and the, the founders, we've the company got started around one year ago, and we didn't want to rush into actually operating a property straight away. We wanted to, to to do our research to really understand the the, the potential that co living has, uh, looking at different locations, really streamlining our our business model, and most importantly, uh, looking to develop the the tech platforms that we will need to to create the, the perfect community and co-living space that, that we dream of, of having. Uh, and at the moment, we're, we're looking at three different locations, uh, London, Barcelona, and Milan. And uh, we're hoping to, to launch within the next six months. Awesome. Perfect. I love that. And then will you personally live in any of the concepts, or is it dependent on where you launch? Um, no, I, I, will, I will definitely be living within within one of the properties. I believe it's, it's very important to, to actually see what it's like from a member uh, as well as from a working perspective. Also my, my background in hospitality, I've, I've helped run um, a, and grow a, a hostel chain throughout Europe. And what we found was having people living on site really helps kind of get over that, that barrier between staff and, and guests. And I think it's it's a easy way to kind of get the community to work as one because we don't want to have two separate people. We want to have everyone together, and, and we want the community to to help work with us, so to speak, and for for us to to help the community. Uh, also, we we look to have ambassadors, people uh, living on site, um, which may be anything from yoga instructors to uh, website designers, social media people to to really kind of be the, the heart and soul of, of our community and make it a lot easier for people to transition into, into gravity. 
Awesome. Love hearing that. And I know we chatted right before we started the recording a bit about the largest co-living over there in London, which is the collective. Um, yes. So you've had experience. Have you visited it, their properties or do you know much about them? Yes, I, I visited the properties. It's it's a it's fantastic property. Um, it's very large. Um, from a lot of research, a lot of people are saying that the larger properties mm -hmm. can be can be quite quite difficult to to create a community. But at the collective, they do a fantastic job with the different spaces they have, from like food and beverage spaces to well-being spaces, co-working, cinema rooms, gyms, etc. Um, that they really help create a community of of a, a mass size and it's very needed in london uh, london's one of the cities where you meet people every day but you never actually have that meaningful engagement and uh, companies like the collective and, and hopefully gravity very soon are, are helping make these connections actually actually happen and and improve people's personal lives i love it and then what demographic are you guys going after like what age male female yeah so we're we're open to to anyone and everyone. Um, the most important thing for for us is that they are open to the idea of community collaboration and being themselves, but also being open to to gain the wisdom from everyone else around them. Like we really want to be that that hub. Um, our age would be we're not looking for students, um, uh, masters and, and PhD students potentially. But we're, we're looking for the young professionals, people who are, are looking to, to really go somewhere with their lives. Um, and I, I'd say between the ages of around 22 to 35 would be the average. Um, male and female, we, we, we're open to, to everyone. Perfect. Yep, that seems to be the, the common demographic across mm -hmm. the board. So that's perfect. Yeah. Um, and then let's see here. I've got some additional questions here. Um, how often would you guys, ha are you guys planning on hosting events and will you invite outside people to the events? So, yeah, great question. So we, we'll be hosting events and activities and also services throughout the week. We'd look to have a, at least one event uh, or one activity every day of the week. Uh, these could be so these will be based over three of our uh, community pillars, either personal well-being and group well-being, professional growth, and also meaningful engagement. So going through the, the personal well-being, this could be things like morning yoga, nutrition classes, uh, group counseling about stresses at work, etc., as well as professional, uh, professional growth. So things like social media marketing to website design to uh, group talks, meetups, and industry-specific talks from, from experts from around the city. Uh, then the meaningful engagement, that's where we want to work with local companies and, and global companies, bringing in their, their products and their services and, and creating events where people can relax and actually engage with people on a, on a higher level than you do just bumping into them on, on the street, so to speak. Uh, we would like to have... We, we don't want to be a walled community. We want to really help our members uh, kind of grow into the, the wider community around. A lot of the, our target people will be uh, people relocating, and it may be a new language, a new city, uh, a, new, a new environment altogether. So we want to help them get within the, the local community and, and be able to, to be themselves in that community whilst also helping grow the, the, the local community outside. So it would definitely be open to, to everyone. Um, and some of them will be, will be free. Uh, we'll also have more of the premium services, activities and events, which will be um, at a cost. But we, we want to be open to everyone and we really want to, to create a, a community that, that means something. Love that. I love hearing that. So then my last question is, where do you see, like looking at the big picture, where do you see the future of co-living? So to start with co-living, a lot of people say co-living is, is, is a new movement. Uh, when the way I look at it, co-living has, has been around from the tribal times to where I'm from in, in the South Wales Valleys with the mining communities. People have always lived together and, and have, have helped people and helped each other. I think in recent years, co-living has, uh, has, has turned to cities mainly. Um, and I see co-living being the future of housing 
policy. Uh, I think it's it really helps both the uh, the issues of of uh, densely populated cities, helping uh, personal issues like depression, um, and I really see there'll be co-living villages, co-living nurseries, co-living nursing homes, and co-living for families. I, I really see it as as being the the way forward. The more connected we are, the the better we are as a as a human race in, in general. So I, I think there's, there's a big feature for, for co-living. Um, I think this is just the, the beginning of, of a whole new chapter and it's good to be involved in it. Oh my gosh, that was like the perfect sound bite on co-living, I love <laughs> that. You're exactly right. You know, we've been doing it forever and then they put this cool, you know, name to it in the last couple yeah. of years. And uh, I think it'll just take it to the next level. Um, and I, yeah, wholeheartedly, everything you said, I agree 110% <laughs> um, about, you know, the importance of community. And I think people are figuring that out now, <laughs> finally. We, we had a little stint there where everybody was kind of isolated and pull into mm -hmm. their garage and never talk to their neighbors neighbors and play on their computers yeah. and their phones, but hopefully that's shifting. Well, Rob, thank you so much. Again, we'll have the information for Gravity attached here, um, and I can't wait to see your guys' future growth. It's going to be so fun to watch. Good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye-bye <laughs> now.